Yo, what's going on guys? And today I wanted to talk about something that the Detroit Free Press and Bobby Marks of ESPN have both said that Detroit is reluctant to hit the panic button and would like to see the roster gel. Sources say to Detroit Pre Free Press that the Pistons brass is reluctant to hit the panic button, meaning a sweeping front office change is unlikely. With three fourths of the season remaining, there's time for the roster to gel and fortunes to churn. Bogdanovich's return would make Cunningham's life and give more firepower. But then Bobby Mark came out and said that maybe they'll go out and get Zach Levine. And that's interesting because they might just dip their toes and see if they can get them for for cheap which in its own right makes sense because why wouldn't you go and find out what he can do Zach Levine next to Kate Cunningham could help I mean this team has been the rule of insanity doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results potentially but maybe maybe they can entice the Bulls who ironically the Bulls have a better record than they do this season and it gets tough because you don't know what's the the right answer as I can't imagine Zach Levine having much more trade value than Brad Bradley Beal and it's 40 million dollars all right so with that being said this is definitely it, it becomes complicated because they go from they basically could take on his salary and just only need to trade 14. So they, they could theoretically do a deal where it's like, oh, we'll trade you Joe Harris. All right. And they hypothetically, I believe, because they're in such. OK, so they would have to cut 12 more so they can do Joe Harris with James Wiseman. And if they wanted to, let's just throw um, the Monte Morris because we don't you guys don't need him and a bunch of seconds and that would get the deal done financially okay supposedly this deal makes both teams like are the same they are the same screen should be displaying the trade right now that we just talked about and it's it's a doozy because is that what's the true trade value because first off if i'm the the pistons just do this trade Zach Levine for Josh, Joe Harris, James Wiseman, and Monte Morris. I mean, maybe you add two second round picks, okay? You add two second round picks with Monte Morris, James Wiseman, Joe Harris. You get the cap flexibility, and the Pistons just eat the contract. I mean, Zach Levine has no trade value, they're saying. So I just think that right there, when you look at this, it's not that bad of a deal. I wouldn't block. I wouldn't think it'd be that, that, that bad at all. So that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. That's basically my thoughts. I don't feel like wasting your time would be a waste of time. So cheers.